Hello there. Welcome to episode 13 of the second season of the Savage Lands. Today, we're going to go forward, establish some things in the city hall here, and we're going to staff out our first squad entirely. I also want to see to push forward to get my first raiding squad going. This is really the first thing that I'm working on today because I, I really want to start to uh, be to be a problem for our neighbors you know it is about time so we're going to put up a monument to the uh to the monster here into the guild hall are we dissected yeah 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 yeah. we can't do this so i just want to put something in there for the symmetry we're also establishing some new temple here so let's see let's make this nice and symmetric that's a, a total of five. Ah, well, it's a total of five here, like that. So I just want to make sure that the temples here in the district have a nice uh, similar look to each other. Okay, so that is one thing. I left open the petitions. Oh boy, lots of work to do. So looks like we are struck with civic tasks, to, tasks again. So, we need to put up a High Priest for the Fellowship of Ashes down here. Looking forward to that. And uh, let's go for the Guild Hall for the Hall of Merchants. What a wonderful name. So, the Crafts Dwarfs Guild Hall will be the first thing. This is by far one of my favorite points about the game. That you have to do so much city management in a, uh, in a meaningful way, you know. It, it, it always uh, makes me happy to see what kind of uh, guilds that get established and what kind of naming they got and uh, furnishing these things out. This is always a lot of fun for me. Okay, so we got to make sure that these places get their uh, monetary value adjusted. So we're going to order a couple of fancies. So the the or this this ashes thing, we got luckily some gold bars that we can work with. So let's order some some golden statuary, in the name of Vukar. You know, always a good thing. So our metalsmiths are working nonstop. Oh, look at those treasures, wonderful. But uh, here we're going to go for gold statues. Although I don't really agree with uh, with the coloring. But whatever, you know, you gotta work with what you got. So, gold statues related to Vukar. Uh, C. There we go. And uh, these will be something we can work with. Also, I figured that it's about time that we put up some altars as well. Altars are a nasty bunch. So, altars fall under the section of other large tools. Yes, that's where you will find altars and bookcases, by the way, if you were wondering where the hell these are. So we're going to disable all these materials. This way you will not receive any, uh, I think bins and the like are excluded with that. And uh, well, we're using, oh, let's try that. Let's see what kind of uh, wackiness will happen with that because I want to make myself some altars here as well you know so let's order a bunch well a bunch of what I really really I'm really vibing for some uh, for some waste of material so let's make us four steel altars you see I personally think that steel is probably one of the materials that is very, very defining for the society of Shin Mistum as something super valuable. And I find it extremely fitting to say that we're putting up something made out of gold and out of steel for our for our glorious new new stuff here. Okay, so let's establish the next uh, place of wackos here. First off, Loring. So what kind of flooring for this place? Flooring is, by the way, also a nice and uh, cheeky way to add in a bajillion uh, dwarf box of worth. If you'd be just using electrum bars or, uh, or even just iron bars to floor out this place, you'd get an insane increase of value by that. 
but uh, just as a side note. I'm going to do some Gabbro here, why not? It's going to be the same look as the floors outside, but uh, you know, what was it, the Coven of Spit or what? Yeah, Coven of Spit, come on. They can go with some grey flooring. It's easier to clean. So, let's uh, not take that. Here we go. And the temple here will be... I bet that this is actually... Or is it Topmic? Yeah, it's not Golgon, it's Topmic. Golgon was uh, somewhere else. Oh no, here it is. Muck. Topmic. Deformity. So yeah, they're uh, worshipping deformity here. Great, isn't it? These guys are such a... Uh, such a... Uh, Nice and lively bunch, you know, deformity. Why ever you'd want to have a deity dedicated to deformity, you know? Well, I don't question the society of the Towers of Age. I, I do think until this very day that these are, as a matter of fact, the first signs of some horrid decadence that will ultimately wither away this uh, society from the surface of this uh, world. I bet that these will be ultimately the first signs that the historians will note down. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I, I personally like to see it like that. This way it does make some sort of sense in terms of the narrative. So let's see, how good are my engravers by now? Well, so we need Rhyolite. Let's check. Do we have Rhyolite actually in our position right now? We only have Rhyolite blocks, so it's just like I thought it would be. We're not getting any new stone blocks for our city um, together, because there is no stone block available for them. So we're going to have to carve out some boulders. Yeah, I love this. You know, this is uh, one of my favorite things that I like to designate a certain type of stone to my uh, to my fortress, and then it's all about hunting a certain type of stone for a while. Speaking about which, yeah, just like I thought, all the dolomite has been nibbled away yet again. The stuff is, uh, you know, you need a boulder per um, pig iron process uh, processing, and another boulder per um, steel processing. So there's a lot of flux stone involved in these uh, industries. So. I'm not too surprised. Okay, so this will last us, or this will give us a moment. So let's continue with these things. I've become a big fan of uh, just uh, stalling the petitions as a sort of a reminder, you know, because this way I won't forget that I still have a job to do. Otherwise, I keep forgetting these. Am I the only one using these like that? So, where are the new thingies? So, mission one was a complete success. The steel altars are being deposited here. The best thing about that is steel is just so freaking valuable on its own that it's going to be quite nice. So, Phantom Buried. All right. We're going to make some art about Phantom Buried as well, you know. I am curious now. So, we've struck some native gold. Please stop golding me, Mountain. This place is insanely rich. Our, our fortress here is insanely rich. That's the one thing I can't say. And we were successful in creating all the steel bars, that, uh, the steel pieces of steel gear that I ordered. My stockpiles of timber are entirely empty. We got got ourselves through a portion of these charcoal um, tasks. So there's exactly one piece of charcoal in there. Oh boy, oh boy. So we better start chopping. So the the industries of Shinmistum are not really um, good for the environment. If you'd ask the elves. But if you'd ask the elves, you'd get some all manner of gibberish uh, and weird answers. So don't don't ask the elves if you ask me. All right. So we got ourselves some some charcoal back into our stockpiles. And I think I I will drop the hammer now. It's time to it's time to put up a permanent charcoal and uh, job. I'm doing this now. So. 
As long as the amount of refined coal is less than 50 and the amount of locks is greater than 10, you guys go crazy and go charcoaling. So this way I will have an easier time managing these. And look at us. We find some new stuff here. So it seems as if my, my industry of steel is currently mostly limited by the speed of our... Um, of our fuel production but that i think that's a uh, that's not true because currently we used a a lot of fuel for the new gear speaking about new gear let's assign those people we got 80 people so glassmaker peasant oh yeah i meant to make paper in the last episode i totally forgot that so ashira beekeeper I'm looking for those jobs won't, which won't get too you too important in the upcoming time for my for my fortress jewelers and the like for example i personally like these and we got to set up the hospital today that's another thing so i'm looking for a last person let's take the furnace operator that's okay so let's see how the gear up will work so technically we should be we should be good oh Looks like we're uh, lacking some shields. All right, let's craft us some shields. If I remember correctly, I made some willow shields. And uh, you're... Well. Let's order some, some more wood shields. All right, does it look like that? Wood shield, wooden shield, exactly. Game, I know you well by now. So our our stockpiles of willow are not uh, where I want them to be. So let's see if we can get ourselves some some hand on some willow. Because where was willow the correct material? Let me check. So sand pier, walnut, maple, maple, ash. Ash was uh, quite lightweight, I do remember. But I do also think that willow was. Uh, was the light, most lightweight material that we had up here, but uh, well, let's uh, let's let's make sure that we got enough uh, timber to work with. Does this look extreme? No, we're just doing our business until we're going to go downstairs, and then everything will be fine there. Because we're going to take the. Uh, the trees from the caverns at some point as well, of course. But until then, it must be taken from the surface. So I do see a crown. That means we're uh, being butchered by our officials in one way or another. Let's see what they're up to. So, well, nothing specifically. All right. So let's see what the art district has uh, come up with here. So we have a statue of Wukar, which is not uh, decorated in the least. We got some steel altar, which is a little bit decorated. Well, I really think that uh, this Ablel Erithabot dude, we're, we're going to... Uh, We're going to make sure that this wonderful person here will be doing his uh, job exclusively. So first off, we're going to disable all the other jobs from him. And then we're going to create a new work detail just for him alone. Jewelry. Here we go. Because I want to make sure that this guy is working on these things. If there's nothing for him to work on, he can go and sip his beer. I don't care. I really don't care. So these four here will only do these jobs. And uh, the dude I have assigned to this, ta to this specific table now has no other job in the fortress than to work here. I hope this will well, this will help a little bit. Because I really, really don't like it when... Uh, when things uh, get delayed unnecessarily. Okay, so how's the uh, work coming together here? The shrine here is not recognized yet. Neither is the guild hall. Of course, of course. So, let's see. Ah! I hate it when I forget to... Uh, 
switch back to selecting the material after the placement. So the Vukar statues are already uh, reserved, but I think I can slap in a small statue of bear just to uh, spice up value of this little thing and uh, tell you what we're going to make a uh, couple of top mix statues here too now. So well, let's make that uh, gold statue for of Topic. We got so freaking much gold, you know. We got to spend it somewhere. <laughs> it's it's amazing how much gold this fortress has, you know. And um, as wait a sec, andesite. It looks like we need to uh, carve out some andesite again. There is uh. Wait a sec, we got 13 stones, alright. So, well, where are they? Alright, they are here. So, I think I, I, I want to uh, designate some more uh, endocyte mining jobs soon. You know, it's better to have them. And again, let's go for another layer of the cistern to be. Every episode, one layer, basically. But I think we're uh, we're soon at a depth where I'm uh, where I'm okay with it. So let's see, is that thing now? It's it's a guild hall now, isn't it? Let's see. Exactly, the guild hall agreement has been satisfied. Wonderful. So citizenship for Korud Singed Inc. I think that was the uh, the bard that we were, uh, hired the other day. So let's approve the coven of spit while we're at it. And let's see, there's, uh, it's not done yet. So let's check out our, our musician, Korut Tetalescu, Korut Singeding. So let's see, how long does the fellow live here already? Two years, all right. Human, <laughs> All right, so he wants to pray to Warosp. The thing is with the humans, they come with their own pantheon of gods. So it is, um, well, we're going to we're going to accept them since he wants to live in a dwarven society. We're not going to turn back anybody who who wants to live in a advanced and uh, modern society. You know, after all, who would we be if we'd be turning back people from the from something like that? You know, I personally think uh, we'd be vibing like that. And if they are good for nothing, there's always Vukar to take them. Okay, so we got that thing uh, settled down. Let's see, how's the... Ah, look at that. He's going ham on these now. It's working. It's just like I hoped it would be. Brilliant. All right, so um, let's see. We are getting together... Highly decorated steel altars. Okay. I want to check back with my uh, with my order for shields. So there's uh, nothing. There has nothing happened there. How come? Well, so oh wait a sec. We might actually have the shields. We just need to assign them newly. So, let's see, does it work? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're configured to, uh, to wield only metal shields, and that's why they were uh, not picking it up. We're just going to designate that as uh, any shield, and then, then everything will work out fine. Brilliant. All right, that's uh, just what I want to see. So the only thing that I do see here with uh, some displeasement is that they're uh, picking up quite uh, crappy weapons. They're, uh, they're all running around with copper weaponry. That ain't really what I'd like to see. So we're probably going to use these fellas as the raiding squad ultimately. So a ban on exports on earrings. Shocking. Well, we're going to get past that. Okay. 
but the good part is we're getting ahead with our productions here quite nicely let's see the steel production is running and running let's uh, check in let's check back with our uh, metal stockpile so iron bars they're still 178 present steel bars are quite drained at the current moment that is okay for me we also don't have that much charcoal all right so let's see in the meantime or or items are being uh, upgraded as i have ordered but for some reason it just takes much much longer than i would like but it is as it is I am currently just impatient, I guess. I mean, I could just uh, engrave those floors. I'm well aware of that. Don't think that I don't know that, but I'm personally a big fan of uh, not using um, engravings on the floor so inflationary, you know. So, let's see. What can we bring up here? I am going to bring up some engravings in front of this here so you know the new strategy of mine is gar is using strategies as, uh, as uh, using engravings as sparingly as possible you know because i really like to um have these as a sort of a highlight engraved walls on the other hand though they are really um pretty um well they're not too oppressive, you know? That's what I'm trying to say. Compared to a smoothened wall, it just looks nice and repetition. You know, it doesn't, uh, it's not intrusive. It's not, uh, it's not like a thousand, uh, like the faces of a thousand dwarves staring back at you. <laughs> you know, I think that sums it up quite nicely, what I am trying to say here. Okay, so here, like this. I mean, this is totally totally uh, dominating the scenery anyways alert a human caravan has arrived do we need anything from the humans i don't think so so we're going to opt out on trade for today not interested leave me alone filthy humans a giant grackle all right I don't know why this is a big news. Probably the animal was from the caravan. So we're going to have to work hard on this place to be eligible for a high for a temple complex. There's uh, really a lot of uh, value we have to add in, more than these two steel thingies uh, will provide. We got some tapmic statuary, so I'm going to plot that down. I think. So, that will uh, round up this place. And we got more statues of Wukar for this temple here. Although, I'm going to wait until the other one has been decorated. I'm a little bit impatient here right now, but uh, partially, I also don't want to uh, spend too crazy amounts of... Uh, resource on the decoration of these of these statues here currently so let's see oh it really needs that statue doesn't it so we got ourselves a uh, artifact um, bracelet that we're going to put into the temple here to make the to add into some value here and uh, to to further increase on that, I'm going to add the. Uh, we're going to make some golden. Or is it? Or... Wasn't it called pedestal here, or is it uh, among the other items again? So other objects. Yeah. Would be too easy if uh, something which is actually usable as a furniture would be findable on the furniture. No, no, there has to be a section of other objects. Everything else would be too easy for the overseer. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, the Vukar statuary has been uh, decorated accordingly, according to my plans, so let's uh, put it down here. I could wait 
until they uh, until they fetch up even more gemstones to uh, to put down on that thing. But it is okay for the moment. It is okay for the moment. So uh, the armored furnaces, no thanks. We we really don't want more people here. I'm already busy enough with what I got here. So the. What up with your uh, with your footwear, man? So new footwear, um, high boots. Are we out of high boots? Obviously, we we must be lacking a pair of high boots here. Amazing. So let's. Uh, oh, an artifact. Let's order a pair of steel high boots because obviously we need one. So a farmer is retreating from the. Uh, society that's interesting let's see what kind of workshop he's going to pick up and a enormous skinless chinchilla is now prowling down below <laughs> all right so let's see i'm going to let those uh, kaiju thingies uh, do sit out among them we're uh, we're not uh, bothered by that let's see I wonder if my farmer is not finding the workshop he's looking for. So let's see. Stukos. What's wrong, Stukos? You should have uh, been on your uh, workshop for the uh, artifact creation a while ago. Let's see if he's not moving. All right, Stukos is uh, wheezing around. And uh... wait a sec, that's the wrong Stukos. Damn. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, there we go. Strange mood. So, is this, uh, what's wrong with you, man? So, it might be that he's looking for some other sort of uh, workshop, one that we don't have established here. Let's check his skills. So, well, so not really giving me any clues. I mean, I don't have any glass furnaces or, you know, or, or other things. So, let's see. Probably that's what's he, uh, what's he looking, what's he uh, looking for right now. I don't know. That's a weird one. Usually they are faster and more decisive with their uh, things here. I don't really understand what uh, what its problem here currently is. So nope, it wasn't that. So let's give him a kiln. I don't think it, this is uh, the proper choice either. But uh, well. New migrants! Wonderful! Love to see that. Alright, this was uh, wasn't the right choice either. We've got a bowyer here. So I'm at a loss here, guys. What is happening? We got we ain't got a siege workshop. But uh, is that really the answer? We're going to try it out. Where do I have enough room for an entire freaking siege workshop though? <laughs> These things are quite huge, you know. So I know where we can't put it. There is a there is a huge room, a hobby room. Let's put it into the hobby cellar. Okay. Probably that's going to save that poor sucker. I mean, I haven't even breached the the lava layers, you know. I heard once that uh, if you have access to magma in some way, this might sometimes uh, get your uh, dudes to do strange things. But, uh, you know, let's see. I don't have a soap, work, uh, a soap maker's workshop yet. But except for that, I do have all the uh, workshops that exist in the game. That's an odd one. And his uh, pathing also looks a tad bit buggy to me. Well, we'll see. Maybe he wants to make some legendary, um, legendary ballista parts or something wacky like that. We will see. Until then, we're going to assign the holy itch. <laughs> I wish I would be making this. 
and uh, the holy itch will be our our weaver here you know let's itch it i knew that this title would come up these titles are a recurring thing in the game you know so we got a uh, fancy gold pedestal which is increasing the value by a lot so let's approve the final request so i really don't know what to do with that poor guy who's stuck in his uh, artifact creations um, loop. So it ain't the siege workshop either. So this looks booked to me. This looks as to me. This looks to me as if he wanted to pick up a metalsmith's forge. That's what it's looking like to me. So, poor guy, I guess he's going to die at some point here. So, we're going to take care of, uh, of him here by adding in some doors. So we can lock him in when his time has come. And now, I'd be really interested in what experienced players got to say about that. Because this is the first time legit that something like that has happened to me. Looks buggy to me, like I said. Anyways, let's not ponder about that, poor guy, and uh, we're going to put that bracelet... Uh, oh, 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 yeah, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? So, uh, brace... Wasn't it the bracelet? No. It was a, uh, a amulet. I am so sorry. Let's put that amulet on display. I mean, this also makes it quite stealable, I'm well aware of that, but, uh, you know, for the... For the time being, this is a quite nice band-aid fix to make sure that we are going to get what we need. Also, get the boulder out of the door, man. So, it's about time to say goodbye for today yet again. I am so sad that time flies so uh, quickly here. We can recognize the High Priesthood now. Let's assign the Holy Death anew and the Exalted Burn by his side. And I thank you so, so much, everybody. It's been my pleasure. And leave me your comments down below. As usual, I love to hear from you. A thumbs up would be deeply appreciated as well. And I really would love to have you as my subscribers. It helps the channel a lot. And if you hit that bell thingy, you also get a notification whenever something new pops up on my side. So we're locking in that poor fella here. And there is only one thing to say. Check out the playlist down there if you want to check out the whole Savage Lands saga. So, see you guys next time. Have a good one. Thanks for watching yet again.